Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about spermatogenesis. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So what is spermatogenesis? The origin and development of sperm cells within testes is called spermatogenesis. Each testis contains many tube-like structures, those are called seminiferous tubules. And inside the seminiferous tubules, male germ cells, which are also called spermatogonia and sartoli cells are there. Outside the seminiferous tubules, you will find interstitial cells or Leydig cells. Just like this, this is the part of testis, this is the seminiferous tubule and outside the seminiferous tubule you will get these Leydig cells and inside the seminiferous tubule you will get spermatogonia, these are the male germ cells and Sartoli cells. Okay. Hmm. So these spermatogonia, they are diploid cells, they have 46 chromosomes. They undergo mitosis continuously and increase in number. Some of the spermatogonia, these are now called as primary spermatocytes, they undergo meiosis. A primary spermatocyte completes the first meiotic division and then forms two cells which are called secondary spermatocytes. And obviously secondary spermatocytes are haploid cells, each contains 23 chromosomes. So now we have two secondary spermatocytes from one primary spermatocyte. These two secondary spermatocytes complete the second meiotic division and form four cells. These cells are also haploids, they contain 23 chromosomes each and they are now called spermatids. These spermatids develop into machiosperm. This process is called spermiogenesis. The process means development of sperm from spermatids is called spermiogenesis. These matured sperms are also called spermatozoa. They are also haploid cells, each contains 23 chromosomes. This scheme you will see here. Spermatogonia are there. Some of them are continuing mitosis and producing same spermatogonia. Some of them are now called primary spermatocytes. They are undergoing meiosis. After first meiosis, Two secondary spermatocytes are formed. After meiosis two, four spermatids are formed. Spermatids are now getting developed into sperm. And this process of production of sperm from spermatids are called spermiogenesis. So this is the process. Now spermatogenesis starts at puberty. So what happens in puberty? The secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone that is GnRH from hypothalamus increases and they act on anterior pituitary gland. From anterior pituitary gland two more hormones will be secreted. One is LH or luteinizing hormone and the other one is follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. LH acts on Leydig cells and Leydig cells secret testosterone. Testosterone helps in spermatogenesis. And the other hormone FSH acts on Sartoli cells. Sartoli cells help in spermiogenesis. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.